Welcome back. In the previous part, we found out that our Mila, the Mila from the first game, cannot return to the human world, the physical world, whatever you want to call it, all because of the other Mila we got from the Fractured Dimension. So the only way to get our Mila back is for the other Mila to, um, die. Surely there's another way around this, though. So, anyway, let's continue, because we've got to save... What was her name? Like, like some Chancellor? I can't remember what her name was. The one Rowan fancies. Don't come any closer! <laughs> no one gave you the floor, Madam Chancellor. Rideau! Why are you doing this? Oh, now don't give me that look. I'm here to help you solve your Maxwell problem. What the hell are you talking about? Spirius knows the Calculatrix aren't for summoning Maxwell. Yeah, right, Rideau. And I'm the King of Riza Maxia. Would you still think I was bluffing if I said Spirius was founded by Krisnik, the first human ever to summon Maxwell? If only the art weren't so messy. First of all, you need to have a living circuit. No! <laughs> And the secret ingredient is a living sacrifice. Damn you! There's no need for you to feign anger, Jude Mathis. You miss Maxwell, don't you? Your beloved wandering spirit. Take this! And this! Make this stop! I see you're quite a hit with the kids, phony. She's no phony! Mila! It's Mila! Afraid not. Ow! Isn't that rich? You're the one who needs to give up! <laughs> Hang in there! Elle needs you! I'm sorry. I'm gonna have to leave the rest to you. I knew I wouldn't like you. How nice of you to join us, Mila Maxwell. May I borrow that sword from you? Uh. Thank you.
How nice of you to summon me here. So that's how it is. Looks like someone woke up on the wrong side of the abyss. There we go, then we got our Mila back. Oh, lovely, doubly, doubly. Yep, we'll go with doubly. Watch out, everyone. Now this is going to be fun. Doesn't look fun to me, you idiot. Me too, ready? Yeah, we'll wipe that smile away. We need to wipe away more than the smile. There's the other guys around as well. I mean, come on now. Oh, he's used to pull my thingy. Let's team up with Mila, our Mila. Things going. I do need to get my TP up though, because it is a problem at the moment. Wow. Sorry about that. Ow! I just got close to you. That's not on. Oh, now I used up all my TP. And I did. Let, let, let me get my TP up. I didn't clearly need it. Um, let's go with the pineapple gel. That's a noise. Oh, is that one not work? There we go. Let's get a link going here. Now it's on! Crimson Fury! Mila! seem to be working any links to the combo ones, unfortunately. So we've not heard anything from L during this fight, it's just sort of like. Yeah, clearly she's gonna be upset by this whole situation. But again, at least we've got our Mila back. That's just something, right? Yeah? That's, that's good. We've got her back finally. Just. Yeah. Should we be happy about this? Joke. I think so. Thank you. I won't forget you. Jude? Who is this? Well... Yeah... Also, I do need to change her costume now because it seems odd having the costume that we had for the previous Mila on this one. It just doesn't flow right. So imagine she's just wearing the white stuff she had before in the scene. I'll change to it in a second. Well, when I get the chance. Well, aren't you a strong one, Mila Maxwell? I admit I'm rather impressed. I hope you'll go after the Waymarker with a similar sense of fervor. Um, let's see here. Shut your mouth. Spare me your indignation. <laughs> Don't you lecture me. Oops. You have my thanks. You're here from Spirius, right? Hey, Luger? Where's Mila? The other one is gone. <gasps> yeah, that didn't go well, did it? It's really you. Uh, Mila! I searched everywhere for you. Sorry, Muse. I didn't mean to worry you. Any of you. Uh, I wasn't worried. We knew you'd be okay. 
It's good to see you again. I wasn't worried about you. There's another Mila, you know, and I'm worried about her. See, this is what I like here. It's like, it, it's... This is why I like the sort of whole idea of it's like the other Mila is meant to feel fake to us if we played the first game, gone through the first game. It's, it, she is meant to feel off. She is meant to feel wrong. All we're meant to be feeling is we want to have our Mila back, not this other Mila, but to Ludga and Elle. That's the only Mila they've known to them that is Mila. So... They've lost a friend where everyone else has gained a friend back. Mila. She's supposed to cook for me. She promised. <laughs> what happened here? Well. Fade out. Fade in. I can't believe it. It's a brave thing she did. Madam Chancellor. Because of her and her selflessness, we can proceed with ratifying the peace accord. King Gaius, Prime Minister Rowan. For foiling this assassination attempt, you have my most sincere thanks. You'd have done the same. Given what's occurred, perhaps you'd like to sign the treaty here and now. Harmony between Reza Maxia and Olympias would please me very much. Here on the ship? We've heard that many high-ranking Olympian officials stand against the treaty. Don't you worry. We'll employ this attack as our chance to press the offensive against them. No doubt many of them have ties to Exodus, and if we can't find proof, we'll make some up. Figuratively speaking, of course. Didn't hear what? I was just thinking aloud. But whatever you choose to do with that tidbit is up to you. You're certain, madam? I pay my debts in full, Prime Minister. And besides, if I were too much of a do-gooder, you wouldn't trust me. <laughs> Are we really that easy to read, madam? I so look forward to dancing the diplomacy two-step with you, your highness. Funny things were that simple in real life. By your signatures, the treaty is ratified. Very good. We've crossed the first bridge, at least. A bridge of mere paper and ink. The gap between this deed and the will of the people is not easily traversed. A difficult road still awaits us. Are you worried too, Gaius? Who wouldn't be? After all, I'm only human. I have my share of fears and regrets, just like anyone else. In that, we are alike. You were a great help to me as well. It's not much, but consider this a small token of my thanks. Oh, just to be clear, this isn't a bribe. Mila, we have little time. You're right. Let's review the situation. Like I said, this is, is going to be troubling for a while, isn't it? Because it is just the sense of she's lost a friend. And the Mila we know, but everyone just pop in already, thank you. The Mila we know there just isn't her. It's just how it works, and there's nothing that can be done. So, so of course she's going to be sort of like, I was going to see if I could change the costume then. Of course she's going to be harsh to this Mila. Because she's the reminder that 
her Mila is gone. Simple as that. Anyway, where did she run off to? Because I do need to find her. Could be around somewhere, right? Down here? No? Alright, where, where is she at? It's gotta be all the way over there. You ran all the way there in that amount of time? You are a fast runner, L. Jeez. But I do like they bring this up as sort of like a plot point in the story. It's like the implications of wiping out another world. It's like to them, they are real. And this Mila was real to L. It's just it's 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 a nice story. I mean, to be fair, I was trying to save her constantly, but... It was the only way to save you. So it's my fault? She's gone because of me. More than anything, she wanted to keep you safe. How would you know, huh? I just do. She was her own person, but she was still Mila Maxwell. We did sacrifice her. I can't deny it. But, by my sword, I swear to you that the loss of your Mila was not for nothing. I'm just a kid. Get to the point already, would you? Fair enough. I'll say it more simply then. L, I want to go with you to the land of Canaan. I want you to see what I do there. Sounds like you mean business. You speak of Canaan. What's going on there? The soul purification has reached its limit. In the Abyss, I saw it with my own eyes. There are too many fractured dimensions. Canaan is the only realm across all dimensions where the reincarnation process occurs. Thus, it stands to reason that the impurity which must be cleansed from all those countless dimensions must be flowing into Canaan. If we do not eradicate those dimensions, the soul purification process will break down. In other words, the fractured dimensions are not only dispersing soul energy, they're also concentrating this impurity. Wonderful. Sounds like either one is enough to destroy the world on its own. What happens if soul purification breaks down? The resulting poisonous miasma will probably overflow. Couldn't the Great Spirit Origin step in and stop that from happening? Only if he thinks humans are worth saving in the first place. I think that's the whole point of Origin's trial. So be it. We've no choice but to reach Canaan and pass the Great Spirit's trial for the sake of all humanity. It is clear what wish we have to make to Origin. Destroy the fractured dimensions, so this one may live. We have detected that Maxwell is no longer blocking our passage. What kind of orders did Spirius give that Rideau maniac anyway? Did something happen with Director Rideau? <laughs> Just checking. That means we can hightail it to the dimension containing the last way marker, right? Correct. However, right now the dimensional abyss is highly unstable. It will be some time before you can enter the rift with any degree of safety. We'll contact you once we've made our preparations. Selfish bastards. I'm the reason. I unfortunately caused it when I harnessed mana out of the schism to take on a physical body. With the temporal crossroads gone, you merely did what you had to. It's taboo nonetheless. I'm using mana meant for preserving the world, to maintain my physical form. Hold on. I can only remain in the human realm for a finite amount of time. Hey, 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 Luger! It's Nova calling to gab about gall 
again. How's the cash dash? Is the dough rolling in? Are you having a gold rush? <laughs> I get paid by the pun, you know. <sighs> oh, come on, not even a snicker. Wait, is something wrong? Yeah, I, I think we should just tell her. And a friend of ours just died. I, I had no idea. My boss just told me to give you a little push, so... I'm so sorry. We have a bit of time. We should prepare for our final trip into the breach while we await Vera's call. Yay, we finished chapter 11. Yay. I knew that I'd see you again one day. I thought so too. And I'm pleased to see you looking as well as ever. Right, there we go, Mila's life. We have to hurry to Canaan. The purification process is reaching its limit. Don't push yourself too hard, Mila. As if having to battle Kronos wasn't bad enough. You've spent a great deal of time trapped in the Dimensional Abyss. And do you think I'll listen when you tell me to take it easy? Ah, well... No, of course not. That is correct. This is no time to falter. And besides, you promised El. Not to mention, the other me. You know about the other Mila who was with us? I do. I saw everything. How could you? I thought you were trapped in the Dimensional Abyss. I was. I tried using the power of the Four to return to the Prime Dimension, but couldn't. Because the other Mila had come to the Prime Dimension. The Abyss between Dimensions is a void of nothingness, bereft even of the elements. I could only drift through it using the power of the Four to protect myself. While in that coma-like state, I dreamt of Luger, the other Mila and all of you. It was as if I was journeying right along with you. How is that even possible? I do not know myself, but her conflict and her wish came through quite clearly. Luger, everyone, I want you to lend your strength to me. Or should I say, to Mila Maxwell. You couldn't stop us from helping even if you tried. Our strength is yours to command. I mean, she could probably stop us. Right, so we need to go to Triglyph, and we should get another skit, and then we'll end this part. And then obviously go and do some more character chapters. There we go. The King and L. Mila, why? L. You seem unwell. Your Highness, can I ask you something? What's your job? I mean, what does a king do? Hmm. If I had to sum it up in a single line, I'd say it's putting the needs of his people before himself. Does that mean you'd be willing to die to save me? No. A king cannot sacrifice himself for any individual, not you or anyone else. That would be an abdication of duty and a betrayal of his subjects. Huh. Yeah, I can see that. However, if I could save someone important to me by risking my own life, I would do so without hesitation. But you just said you wouldn't die for someone. What's the difference? In other words, I would do what your Mila did. My Mila? Yes. Although I imagine the Mila I know would have done the same. But it made me feel bad. You need to turn your sadness into pride for having been protected. Live a life that will prove to her that you were indeed worth saving. I don't entirely get it, but I think I sort of understand. Thanks, Your Highness. Luger, 
I was just talking to His Highness about what happened. He sort of helped me through it. Kids probably aren't supposed to bother kings with their problems, huh? I mean, yeah, the probably not, but still. I'm sure he was happy to help. Yeah, I think he was. Even though I'm just a kid, His Highness really tried to help. The kings in storybooks are mostly jerks, but His Highness is different. He's a good king. I'm sure he'd be happy to hear that. Right, that's us done for this part then, and then the next part we'll go off over there and start whoever's there. I'm not I'm not sure. Well, I was trying to zoom in, but can I not there's no zoom in on the map? There's no zoom in on the map. Right, so whoever's in the inn, that's who we'll be doing in the next part with their character chapter. So, we shall see you then. Ta-ta for now.